hi friends welcome to my channel and this is windows over 2012 step by step tutorial and this is 18th video in this series and in this video i'm going to show you how to add session host server in a remote desktop services or rds so in last video we have recorded one video <coughs> on a remote app publishing and session two with the two sessions host so in this video I'm going to use the same infrastructure which I have used in last video and going to add a la my third session host server and the RDS farm so let's here's the scenario which I'm going to use in my demo so I have first server went to get 12 DC01 which is my active directory server you can see here which is running active directory and DNS role so my server is here you can see this is active directory server which we have last in last video so my domain name is victorinfosol.com so this is my dom uh, domain controller basically and my second server is win 2 k 12 rds01 which is a rds server which having connection broker role and web app role so here is this machine if i go to lock local server you can see win 2 k 12 rds01 um, this is having remote desktop services and IS install IS for the remote desktop remote app publishing so if I click on remote desktop services uh, in an overview view you can see my deployment servers there are one server RDS01 having connection broker role and RDS01 having RD uh, RD um, web access role and I have two SH01 and SH02 as two RDS session host so our goal in to achieve in this video to add one more session host in a uh, in a deployment so might be uh, maybe we have some extra workload coming on my uh, RDS farm or maybe I'm going to take out one or two server from the uh, this deployment to uh, for a maintenance so anything and um, the cause is anything which require more adding a more additional server in session or server so if I go here on um, collection which I have created you can see in this collection I have published few application here like access calculator excel outlook notepad so these all product from MS office 2016 package and if you, you you see here my host server is rds sh01 and 02 so these are all the application which is uh, published from ms office package is installed on session host 1 and session host so uh, 2 so these are the machines this is session host 1 you can see here if i go to add a remove program you can see here i have installed microsoft office professional plus 2016 and same I have installed on my session host 2 which two servers are in production you can see here so mm, before adding any additional server in this RDS farm we have to make sure that the, the server which we are going to add in production having the same set of applications or configurations or setting um, which we have existing uh, on existing servers on a session host server so this is my session host 3 which having no RDS role installed yet if I go to uh, local server you can see the server name is win2k12 ssh01 this machine is joined in my domain and if I go here Adam remove programs you can see I have installed MS Office 2016 same package on this machine also to make sure uh, this machine having the MS Office package and if I go and launch any MS Office product you can see it's working perfectly fine so we are good to know that we have a same set of application on the server which we are just going to add so these servers you can see the remote desktop services having and if I go here you can see these machines having only RDS session host role so what I'm going to do now my session host 3 is ready to um, add in production I just join in in domain I have installed the required application MS office and that's all so now to add the server in domain uh, uh, RDS production I'm going to click on my RDS remote desktop services from my connection broker manager and here you can see add RD session host server click on it 
and you can I'm not f able to find the server which is SS0103 here so before doing I need to go to my all server collections you can see here we have all three server which is currently in production so I'm going to add server here and going to type the name win2k12shs03 you can see the server has been fine and I'm going to add this server here and I'm going to start the performance counter to get the alert of the performance issues so good to go and this server is added and now if I go to remote desktop services and RD session host you can see here my Win2K12 SS03 is there click on add click on next so it's going to check and you can see this server may may be restarted after role install uh, role service installed so yes because it's installing a session host server this machine required a reboot so I'm going to click here restart remote computer as needed and click on add role so now you can see it's initiated the installation of the session host service role role service on this machine on SH03 and soon this machine is going to reboot so we have to wait for a few seconds here to get the machine installed and reboot you can see installation is completed and now machine is rebooting you can go on machine and you can see this machine is actually rebooting So let's wait for a few more main seconds here to machine come up and now the machine is come online so I'm going to hit convert Adele and going to log in by my RDS admin account you will see now remote desktop services installed so good to know that and if I go here on my RDS connection broker you can see the succeeded the installation is succeeded so if I close this you can see now I have a deployment server I have a SH3 there but if I go on my co existing collections I'm not be fine I'm not be able to find my on deployment server here because I have not added the RDS session server in this environment so what I'm going to do now I'm going to add here RDS session host server in my existing collection so you can see the whatever server is available session host server is available you uh, you will be able to see here so I'm going to click add next and add it's going to add the server here succeeded now if I close this you can see we have now three RDS session host server in this uh, collection which is a prod app all domain users if I refresh here you will see we have a three different session of RDS admin on these all three servers so good to know that and now how we can verify the machine is good and it's serving in good to go in a productions for go live so what I'm going to test here I'm going to disable a new um, new connections on my existing servers which is SH01 and 02 and make sure the users are able to log into SH03 and they are able to use it so I'm going to right click here and do not allow new connections so no new session will be created on this server so are you sure want to continue yes I want test it and same I'm going to do it with SH02 so now you can see these server are still there in a, uh, in a production for this collection but uh, these sessions are not going to have a new sessions so I'm going to use check it so we are we have configured this thing like added the new session host server in remote desktop uh, services and now it's time to test it so I'm going on my client machine here and open the browser and I'm going to access my RD web uh, web access uh, URL on RDS01 
and I'm going to basically test it from two different client machines so so click on continue and I'm going to type my domain name user 01 and the password for this account and I have all the application here so I'm going to launch the calculator and type the name credential here and same I'm going to test from my second machine you can see it's creating the session so we have to wait for a few seconds for creating the profile on that machine Use a zero two. Mm. Still creating the connection. So the first time it's going to take some long because of creation of local profile, and now you can see it's connected and it's. Uh, connected to the remote desktop session host uh, server and if I you can see a small icon so in the room we have running on our remote computer and now if I click any other application you can see it's, it will launch the application instance so this is how it's work So I have launched few applications from user 01 and I'm going to use do the same for user 03 like Excel I'm going to launch calculator So I just want to make sure that everything is working fine in production. So you can see I have launched my multiple application and I'm having no issue. And now if I go on my RAS connection broker and refresh this screen, you can see both the sessions which is coming for user 01 and 02 is coming on SH03 because I have disabled a new login, new connection on my existing server. So this is. Uh, working fine and now if I go on my SS03 and see the you know, users who logged in you can see both the users is logged in on my this machine and you can see all the all the four application which they are using and also you can go here and you can see the users profile is created on uh, on my connection session host server so this is how it works and now I'm going to bring uh, both also in a production so now we have a three server in a production and ready to go live so this is all about how to add a session host server in a remote desktop services and thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query or any question related to this you can post me on my given mail ids thank you once again bye bye